Hey, welcome back. This is Victor with SkyTech One. As you can see, I'm just moved to a new location, and uh, that's why everything is a mess. And this this video is a little bit raw today. I want to talk about Dell Ultra Wide monitors and Apple M1 Max, uh, and how they don't mix very well. Um, I just bought the P34. Uh, 21W ultra wide curved monitor, and so far it's only been one or two days, and I've already had uh, a headache with them already. So, number one, the font is really, really so everything is really, really small when you plug it in. And the good thing is that you do connect immediately at uh, 3440 by 14. Uh, 40 a lot of people are having uh, issues with their uh, ultra wide monitors in terms of resolution they are not getting their maximum resolution and they kind of have to hack their system download a software uh, kind of run on beta i've heard different kinds of stories but that wasn't the case for me uh, i was the the maximum resolution was unlocked uh, when i plugged it in now when I'm in settings, uh, since everything is small, I want to make things bigger. And when I do, the resolution goes down uh, one notch to 20, 25, 60, and 1080p. So basically, in order for me to enjoy this monitor to see things clearly, I have to sacrifice the resolution to something that was popular maybe 10 years ago. I think that is something th that's an issue with Apple because I ran the same monitor with a PC um, with my uh, Windows 10 machine and you are able to scale at 100%, 125, 150 to get more of a zoom, make everything look nice and, you know, legible without, without sacrificing resolution. So this is something on Apple's part and uh, um, so I don't recommend uh, this ultra wide monitor for an M1 Mac because you can't change the change the, the font size uh, without sacrificing resolution and you can you can try different things you can uh, command plus command plus you can check ch change the settings in your apps but certain things like they don't they just don't update in in the, in in font size like for example in chrome the uh title bar the uh, the url bar is stuck there while you can have the rest of the the frame is 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 large that part is small and certain title bars are small so highly don't recommend this if you have poor vision if uh i would say most people probably would like this the font to be larger and i think in terms of this monitor and uh, a lot of dell ultra wides and probably ultra wides in general is that apple didn't really have ultra wides in mind I, i'm assuming that they thought that they assumed that not a lot of people are getting ultra wides so this resolution issue um they're you know it's fine on the 4k 5k 6k monitors uh they've accounted for that but uh something going as wide as the ultra wide um something of that particular real estate screen real estate they they didn't have that in mind and uh, therefore the text is not optimized so that's i think that's the case the second largest issue i have with the monitor is that there's some flickering issues now on the first day uh, part of the screen, the upper upper left quadrant of the screen started flickering. It was not a, a epilepsy inducing flicker, but it was it was a, it was like a noticeable, very noticeable and uh, constant. Today it was fine. Um, I didn't have any of the flicker today, so I I went online and I noticed other people who. Uh, have this monitor and also the U3419W uh, also have flickering issues more than just one person so I think this is something uh, it's probably on Apple's end 
because uh, so far I've used it for a couple days on Windows, no flickering issues. So uh, number three, um, I didn't have a chance to test the hub yet, the USB-C hub, and the, the experience I have so far with it was with my mouse. Uh, my USB mouse would disconnect. The USB mouse is connected to the monitor and the Mac, the M1 Mac, MacBook Pro is connected to the hub. So there are some issues where the, it's just the mouse doesn't work at all. It's just, it, it, you can see that it's power. Uh, it has lights and it's just non-responsive. So my advice to people who want to pair uh, an ultra wide, especially from Dell to a M1 Mac or possibly in the future to an M1 X Mac book pro 16 or 14, I would caution against it. Um, I think if you're going to buy it an ultra wide, you, are gambling because it, it, it could be a good experience but it could be very risky in terms of different different problems coming up and uh i didn't even find out about the flickering issues until after i bought it i did a lot of research on the USB-C hub and this was the particular model that had the least issues with the USB-C hub so um yeah with that yeah just just be prepared to return your monitor um and it's a pretty heavy monitor it's a pretty big box so uh, i don't even think i can return it to bnh by myself so my kind of thinking you know is this return really worth it i might just keep it for another few months uh so i can enjoy the uh widescreen ultra widescreen uh, it is a great monitor uh for movies uh for video games uh it, it is very immersive um very it's almost like wearing vr goggles without wear, wearing them um so maybe i will i will just keep it and enjoy it on windows so i think this issue is more on apple's part um, I feel like Apple is designing things in a way that it's not concerned about other manufacturers and other peripherals. Uh, they, you know, unlike Windows, which they want to design things that cater to all manufacturers and peripherals and all devices. So they want to make it um, as as much as as compatible as possible so they're, they're, they're striving for compatibility whereas i think apple they're kind of in the game to create this ecosystem where if you're in that ecosystem and you follow the path that they have chosen for you you're gonna have a good time you're gonna enjoy the things that are available to you and the the, the cohes cohesiveness of the different devices uh now, if you are going to stray away from the path and get an ultra wide monitor, something unusual to for you know in the in their eyes, then you're going to have issues. You're gonna then you're going to trip and fall. So um, so Apple wants you to uh, walk down a path that they've designed for you, and if you do that, you're going to have a very wonderful experience. You know, you're going to feel like you're being treat, treated like royalty. So, uh, and and for the, and for most people, that's the fact. That's that's the truth. And for that little minority of the people, the power users, the people who want to customize, they're going to have run into issues. And that's where there's a lot of backlash uh, with Apple. All right. So if you found this video informative, helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at at SkyTech1. This is Victor with SkyTech1. I'll see you in the next one.